Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining Archangel Alts, and we're here for a Crypto Market Watch update. Instant insights for watching the market. So does anybody see anything different with Bitcoin? Let me give you a hint. Let me give you a hint. Okay, so here we are at 3965. Here we are at 3969. Here we are at 3975. 3988, all these really good numbers. So here we were seeing it sag a bit and it was pulling things down with it a little bit. And then here we saw things sag a little bit and it pulled things down with it. And our numbers for up and down were changing ever so slightly. And then things dropped again, bringing things down with it. And here we go, up to 39.70, okay. So unfortunately, whoever, um, you know, is leading the charge for the slight bumps in Bitcoin is an absolute genius in watching the tsunami pull the volume out from uh, the market and then um, pushing it in with thrust, pushing it outward towards things with thrust and then pulling it back in and then pushing it out. So this movement right here pulled things down further, but got Bitcoin into the upper 39s, into 3970, 3975. Things did actually resync with it a little bit around here. And then guess what happened? Darn tootin'. 3942 is all it took to drag things down another two or three percent. So even your ups, or actually, you remember our ups were uh, 2300, almost starting to head towards 2400. Just as an example, I honestly don't remember exactly this one. We're going to look at them. So we get through here, and it does a steady climb, steady climb. Things start to resync around here, and so things came up about two out of three percent that they, you know, from the different downs. And guess what happened? Guess what happened? So this went down just quick enough to cause the problem again. As we move along, and right now we are at midnight, so you can see this. You can see this. I'm going to take this a little quicker now, 65. And then, whoa, whoa, what, what, what? So things were still, I mean, they were still overall down about 5% from when we were watching them. Some, some things at 6%. But 3934 was a low point. And I'm not sure. This, this would have been after what we were covering. So we had already seen... Uh, some of the damage and i was actually working some of our positions in here because they were starting to resync and get there so i took a power nap and was hoping to see something good when here is where it broke and this one dropped things back down to where they were before um they were up so we have everything down about six or seven percent from where it was before the process now you're not going to see those percentages and the majority of this stuff just the more extreme ones and we're actually not in any of these i don't think i think we've already finished our yo-yo did we not yeah we've already cleared out with a profit on all of our yo-yo and that's the case with browser as well pretty sure um but you look through here um huh. i was like no that's not what we we're looking at I clicked on yo yo. Need more coffee. All right, so made it up through the four thousands up to forty one forty five here. Very exciting, and you know that's going to raise some interest throughout the day with Bitcoin. But we're going into two p.m. on Saturday. So if you'll remember the last we were talking, and I talked about this in the live stream, especially because that's when I was dropping the lowest. We were breaking below 70 million 24-hour volume. So I was concerned that it was going to start to fall a little bit. Got to sneeze. Hold on. And with that volume, it was likely to start bringing things down with it. I didn't understand how it could be able to hold up at 39.50 with the volume continuing to drop without there being a correction of some sort. So um, I think I even joked about being one of those analysts saying that, you know, I can promise you guys, you know, drawing a whole bunch of triangles on the screen, saying I promise you guys that 
Bitcoin, you know, because of this correction right here, is, uh, you know, it's going to go down right here. But this is a sign right here that it could go up. And then if the volume recovers, then it'll just, you know, continue where it is at 39.50. Well, I mean, don't I have all bases covered if I do that? So, I mean, if it goes down, you can just say, I told you it was going down and just not exactly the same amount I told you. Uh, if it goes up, they can say, see, I told you it would go up. Nobody really knows how long it's going to keep going up, et cetera, et cetera. So this looks like as far as the goal could take it, things went down again here. And I'm watching and things have um, resynced a little bit, about 1% up from the 7% down. The majority of them were. Um, so this is a, our look at Bitcoin. You know, some of the ones that were already needing to continue their recovery, unfortunately, are going to have to work their way back up. I just, I really hate seeing that. But you can see exactly what I was telling you in the early ones where it was losing sync when it would go up. This is exactly the kind of thing I was talking about. So, you know, it started to resync. You know, I told you about that part. And I want you to know I'm going in blind. I haven't clicked on any of these. I haven't had any time. I've been asleep. You can hear it from the ribbit from the frog in my throat. So... We made it to 298 and we were working on breaking <laughs> to the 300s. And then, you know, this is the sharp shoot up. So I'm actually going to go to the bigger list so you can see, you know, things appear to look good. And it's not that they don't look good, it's just that they don't look good in comparison to what they were doing before. So Aunt at 10%, which was about 17%, was working its way up here. And it was actually in sync with sync coin, with Bitcoin here, but it was getting pulled down through all this stuff when it was working on um, 2300 plus. So you can see through the, um, two days ago, and then you know it was recovering here. Um, it did well over here. This was 221. Here's its climb. Here's its climb to 2300. And so it was holding at 2300 and you know then this is when bitcoin dragged it down to the 22s it was you know doing this gradual thing up here made it to 2400 and now it's kind of dropped with the sharpest spike this is the bitcoin going to 2145 and now it's coming back up again so these movements are signs of you know healthy movement of ont ontology is doing well um, we actually only have very long positions that um, go back a while, uh, I think to September. So we have um, like two in 3300s and then one in four, and those will clear. So let's look at you know quantum, exactly the same example, just sharper. So it was, wait, that's not quantum, that's CMT. I apologize, they switched on me. But you know what, it doesn't change the information at all because they're exactly the same as each other. Yep, exactly the same. As we go down, we're going to probably see a sharper drop in these two points. It's a really important, you know, statistical and just visual example here. I'm going to go back to Bitcoin for a second before continuing through the rest of them. Because, you know, all you see is, is still on the cliff there. But if you zoom in to what it's actually doing right now, just what it's doing right now, so it's starting to go into a little bit of uh, horizontal movement. And um, if something dramatic doesn't change, I'm not sure that we see it continue to pick up steam unless whoever was doing the pump, which is really starting to look like a, um, you know, take the shorts, pump it up, pump, you know, pushing down the others, choose the um, strategic others to pour it into, let the volume come back down and then buy it back in. Um, and it could also be just get it up here to stable coin, wait it out, you know, let people do whatever they want to do. This may be that smooth transition upwards that continues and continues and continues. I want to tell you, though, if I were an investor, I would be looking for the right window to get into Bitcoin before it was at five or six. Because, you know, 1,000 uh, 1, up, well, really, the, we're talking another 300 up, but just psychologically being in the 3,000s instead of the 4,000s not as huge a jump as you know five when it starts to look like it's getting close to six and that's a double you know so it's still within that window where it's like the best price ever 
you know, if you're looking to get in or to buy more Bitcoin, in my opinion, yes, it could drop as low as 2800 It could drop as low as 1000 for all we know. Um, I do not see it doing that. I think that the, the um, well, I mean, really FUD and FOMO, fear of missing out and the uh, fear, uncertainty, doubt, and the fear of missing out would both kick in. People would continue buying it upwards no matter how hard the sell-off was. There's simply too many millions of people that are watching to see what it's going to do at this point. So you can see that this is going into kind of a narrow, thinner place here, and the question is how long can it maintain at 4100? Um, I'm still kind of thinking in terms of I would like to see how long it can hold at 39.50. So, you know, the difference is not huge. It almost climbed 100 and it was a very significant 100. 39.50, that's 200, isn't it? 39.50, 40, 50, 41, 40. Yes, I apologize. It almost climbed to 200. In fact, the climb was 200, it's just I'm thinking in terms of what it's been maintaining. So it was like $4 shy of 200, so we'll just call it 200. Ain't no big thing except for that it is everything dropped in proportion and is starting to recover for some of them. So now we'll go back and look at the big list. So I'm just looking at, you know, the types of coins that have risen the most. Um, they're not top of the list coins at all. So just so you understand that, you know, they're syncing with Bitcoin when it stopped here. Look at how low it's already started to drop. So, uh, <laughs> you know, it's really funny too is that somebody was doing a pump today at one, Saturday at one. So they're definitely not in the know. Um, and I don't even know which coin they're doing. And frankly, I don't care. It doesn't matter in comparison to this. I usually want to know because it has an impact on how much volume is available for the other coins. Look at that cliff. Yep. And I'm not speaking to Cliff. I'm saying look at the Cliff that's there. <laughs> you know I'm joking, right? Okay, you know I'm joking. Wow. I took your Cliff. I took it. So this is actually promising for EOS, and it's probably in a group. I remember it being in a group with Neo, so I'm actually going to check that real quick for you guys and for me. Um, Here. Yep, look at that. Same thing. Okay. It's it's fun when your memory serves you well. I'm not going to be like, oh, yes, you always right. Because that usually comes immediately by, oh, I was so wrong. Okay, I'm just showing you things on the screen now. Unless I, I mean, you can see the majority of this stuff, even if they're propped up by a, a good percentage, they're already dropping from, you know, if it came up with that peak, they're already dropping down. So we're actually looking for the slow and steadies. They're at the bottom of the list, and I'm going to show you some of that right now. I really want to see gas be able to get into the seven and eight hundreds. That would be really cool. I like um, when it has enough movement to do some really good moves. EOS we already talked about, so it's on its rise. It's it's moving upwards. ADA, I would wait this out a little bit. ADX. Here you already are if you were watching ADX. OST. Oh, it was at 595 and now it's got to do all that work again. All that work again is kind of expected. So, you know, there's actually some pretty decent coins that are hovering around there too. Just the volume is just not enough to do what it needs to do. To do what it needs to do. Do what it needs to do. Vibe is usually stronger than this. So, I mean, this just shows it's not just hitting the weaker ones. My point about the weaker ones is that just they're not normally the coins that would be at the top of the list. So this sharp drop, you know, is going to be steeper for them. Um, unless Bitcoin, you know, uh, I don't know how to think whatever the short term is um, for the people that are doing what they're doing. Um, so we're all just here to react, uh, weave and navigate in the process But if you are a super mega whale or one of the mining groups that is having a short against things uh, to pay their way, uh, one of the reasons I want to talk about some of the mining stuff and where it's not the place to bank all of your, your hopes.
and ambitions. One, two, go on, two. D and T is sitting right in the middle. There's only three that are um, neutral at this point. Um, and it looks like it might actually be recovering already. There's a tiny little peak happening uh, with Bitcoin again. And so it's going to be picking up volume. We'll see whether things are in you know sync enough to go up with it at this point. XVG got pulled down a little bit more. It was starting to come up to 165. It's down to 162. That's actually a big jump for people waiting for their stuff to clear. Um, ONG, um, the gas for ontology coin, um, not doing so fantastic. Data is another good one, not doing so fantastic. Let's see. TMB key is exactly where it was. It's like, you know what? There's going to be bad times for key. I'm just going to sit here. So that is what it do. Strat. Sometimes a good one, not right now. Mana, SMT, IOTX. Check that out. Boy, glad we weren't trying to get it around the 200 line again. So my question back then was going to be whether it was going to, you know, get back underneath 199 or not. So we might re-enter that later on. Going to wait to see what it does. Theta is a really good coin. It's near the bottom. TRX, KMD, Wabi Go. Storm, it's, yeah, I mean, it was trying to get in the 75, 77 range, and it's not going to make it there right now. Not as much fun. Fun needs to be at 200 minimum, and it was holding in the 101 range. Not good. Hot was trying to hold in 37 to 39. That's a massive move for it. Waves was trying to make it to 7,300. It's dropping even harder, so... It's going to bounce below 7,000 probably. To, I mean, there's really no way to know until we see what the rest of this correction is with Bitcoin. The thing is that they space this out just until human nature gets comfortable with a new position. So these are pump and dumps just on a massive scale that normal people are not included in at all. So this hurts for myth. Um, we're not holding anything on myth, but it just it hurts. Painful. And MCO, just for some reason, not really a huge fan anyway. BCBT, we were really needing it to continue upwards from here, so this definitely hurts what we were watching there. It's going to be a longer wait, long bridge. Um, this was actually a pretty substantial... Yeah, I mean, it's, once again, Raven has a long way to go. Where is its community? I'm hoping that they have some idea of what they're doing. Uh, Poe really should be able to sit around 129, 131. It's not able to do that right now. So this is, unfortunately, this kind of hurts some really good coins. Um, these are really, really good ones. And, of course, our poor TNT. Now, it's showing signs. You've seen all these different ones that are at the very bottom there. It is actually resyncing fairly quickly. The thing is that, I mean, Bitcoin isn't, I don't think, heading for 4,200 in case, once again, have absolutely no idea what they're thinking with I mean, it seems like they've already accomplished, you know, the logical thing if this is going to be a several month stretch before anything substantial goes into a bull run. So if, you know, in conclusion, if this is a short term thing for Bitcoin and the pumping, then, um, you know, we will probably see it tap out before it hits 130 million 24 hour volume. Um, if this is, you know, launching into the first wave of a bull run, then I don't know how long it goes, but it's going to continue to um, leave the alts behind, and then they will resync at a lower point again. You know, the history of alts, it's a sad one. This isn't a good example, actually. Wings might be a better example. We can't trade on it anymore, but you can see, you know, from here to here, not up at the top, but this gradual... Thing. This was 60%, this was about 50%, and then you can barely see, but this was another 60%, and it died at 60%. So we went from 18,000 to 1,800 to less than 1,800 before it got delisted. The end, literally for that one, but just the beginning for the rest of it. But, I mean, you can see this pattern through... All of the stuff 
you know, you really can't say much about, you know, the difference. In, I mean, Tron has had some higher points than others, but the expectation then was that it would go up from 800 and they just, they, they pushed the news, they pumped the coin, and then they stepped back knowing that they're going into BTT. So it proves the exact type of leadership that I tend to prefer to avoid. But a lot of people are going to make a lot of money in the Tron circles because they are trying to do a lot of big things. I just prefer to avoid things that involve the porn industry. So for the most part, I mean, you know, every single coin will probably be an option for being able to do nefarious things. But, you know, it's different when you go after that as, you know, your business model say, hey, we want to help you do devious things. Um, a lot of people won't hold that position. That's totally fine. You know, I'm not here to tell you what to think. Just how to train <laughs> and when to th what to think while you're training. So, um, you know, this is actually much weaker than just looking at it breaking somewhere near, you know, the 60, 40, you know, 60% negative, a few holding in the middle. This is going to shift a lot today. So if you are looking to trade throughout the day, just be very, very cautious. Uh, protect your positions. Um, you know, you really have to go with your gut to know what you're doing today. So um, I will be absent for a very small chunk of the day, hoping to um, get right back in there, keep an eye on things. So God bless you guys for now. This is the Crypto Market Watch. And boy, was there a lot to watch, huh? Uh-huh. Yes, it was. So I'm going to let it go back to Bitcoin. It has done 1.5 million since my summary at the end. That was pretty impressive, huh? So here's the history of Bitcoin, and here's, you know, the promise of a new day. What we'd like to see is for it to be able to get all the way back to recovery from before Bitcoin Cash hard fork. And we'd like to see some people start to recognize that that's what happened there. Here's what it looks like in the short term. OMG, goodness. 4145 kind of headed up towards this is a big sign right here this is a you know sign of weakening there's not a second spike there's a second this now once again i don't know how to think you know in terms of what exactly the goal for the the pump side of things um what the effect will be there so just keep an eye on things be very cautious and we will be back with you later so god bless you guys for now archangel alts Waiting to see what is this. Out.